family. Not to be confused with Coke as in Coca-Cola, although certainly Coca-Cola has a lot of sway too. I mean, all they have to do is threaten to halt production on everyone's favorite caffeinated beverage and caffeine junkies would riot. Ah, but we kid. We're talking about Coke as in the Coke brothers and their massive business, Coke Industries. To give you an idea of just how massive we're talking, Coke Industries is the second largest privately owned company in the United States. They rake in a colossal $110 billion every year in revenue. Yeah, this is the big leagues, people. Coke Industries was founded by Fred Koch in 1940, and for years, it was owned by his two sons, David and Charles, known as the Koch brothers. David, who passed away last year at 79 years old, stepped down from his position due to health issues in 2018. But his brother Charles, who is 84, still acts as the CEO to this day. Just what kind of influence does the Koch family have? Well, due to some rather smart acquisitions, including the $22.5 billion purchase of Georgia Pacific in 2005, every time you buy your everyday supplies, you may well be putting money right into the pockets of the Cokes. Brawny paper towels, quilted northern, Dixie cups, these are all just some of the brands underneath the Coke umbrella. But it doesn't stop there. In 2012, they spent $7.5 billion to purchase Molex, an electronic components manufacturer. And in 2014, they partnered with Goldman Sachs to purchase a printing ink manufacturer known as Flint Group for a price tag of $3 billion. The Cokes are well known for donating hundreds of millions of dollars in support of conservative politicians ones that limit government, offer free trade and free markets, limit corporate regulations, and offer a more lenient immigration policy. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. These guys are literally pulling the strings that guide the United States because they have the money to. Next up, let's talk about one of the most famous billionaires, J.P. Morgan. He was one of the most powerful bankers of his time, up until his death in 1913. But being rich ain't enough to get you on this list. And J.P. Morgan was oh so much more than just rich. Mr. Morgan financed railroads and helped organize U.S. Steel, General Electric, and many more giants in the industry. His father was a wealthy banker as well, but it wasn't until Morgan formed a partnership with Philadelphia banker Anthony Drexel in 1871 and formed J.P. Morgan & Company that he started to get really, really rich. After all, this company was the predecessor to J.P. Morgan Chase. He amassed an incredible fortune of $25 billion, and he was sure to use it to tilt the system in his favor. Morgan was a mastermind of the business world and used his incredible influence to help stabilize the American financial markets during the economic scares of his day. Probably his most famous achievement was his ability to stabilize the economy during the Panic of 1907. And let's not forget the time that he saved America's gold standard by loaning the federal government $60 million. But it's well documented that Morgan's critics were quick to point out just how much power he had and they would say that he was manipulating the United States' financial system so that it benefited himself. Hey, in all honesty, they were probably right. Remember how he said he financed railroads? Well, he did that so often, and so well, that during the late 19th century, Morgan was so involved with consolidating failing railroads that he ended up controlling an estimated one-sixth of the total railroads in America. Yeah, one guy owned one-sixth of all the railroads. On top of that, he was called in to testify by the U.S. Representative Arsene Pujo, who was investigating elite Wall Streeters suspected of colluding to control the American banking industry. The result of these hearings was a little system you may have heard of called the Federal Reserve. If you still don't think that Morgan had power, well then we don't even know what power is anymore. Here's a family you may be familiar with due to multiple members being United States presidents. One a vice president, another a TV host, and yet another being a Supreme Court justice. This is the Bush family. The very same family of former President George W. Bush, the inspiration behind the punk rock opera masterpiece by Green Day, American Idiot. Okay, okay. But seriously, this family has a lot of power, which, for starters, is likely due to their net worth of over $400 million. Just how did they collect that much dough? Well, many members of their family were successful 
bankers and businessmen, which spans back three generations. And if you need any more proof that their power runs in the family and runs deep, remember that George H. Bush was a United States president, George W. Bush was a United States president, and Billy Bush was the host of Access Hollywood. Don't remember Billy? We bet you do, you just forgot. After all, the infamous tapes of a secret lewd conversation between Donald Trump and Billy Bush made all the headlines in 2016, and it ended up leading to Billy Bush being fired from Access Hollywood. But don't feel too bad, he now works as a correspondent on the show Extra. Oh, and he's also worth $13 million. Yeah, he's doing fine. Up next is the Rothschild family, worth a total of $400 billion. Let that sink in for just a second. Their total worth is $400 billion. Uh, all we can say is, wow. They amassed this incredible fortune by creating a banking empire in the 1800s. Hey, are you starting to see a pattern here with all these banking families? Now maybe you know what line of work you should aspire to go into. This empire spanned through cities like London, Paris, Vienna, and Naples. They are one of the wealthiest and most powerful families in history. Although, we should say, their sway is far less than what it was in years past, mainly due to their incredible wealth being divided up between the family members. These days, the Rothschild family is still very active in the mining, financial services, agriculture, winemaking, and real estate world. In Europe, some of their incredible palaces and lavish estates still stand to this day, almost like a permanent benchmark to their outrageous fortune. To put $400 billion in perspective, when adjusted for inflation, their private wealth still hasn't been topped by anyone in the world. In fact, if you combined the wealth of Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Elon Musk, you still wouldn't come close to the Rothschild family. They are about as wealthy as anyone can get. Let's head over to our local Walmart for our next power fam. Didn't expect us to say that? Well, maybe you didn't realize just how rich the founders, the Walton family, are, with a net worth of an astounding $169.7 billion. Sam and Bud Walton founded Walmart in 1962, and when they found that Walmart was a resounding success, they went ahead and formed Sam's Club in 1983. These days, Walmart's sales top out at $500 billion. That's the highest retail revenue in the world, folks. As for how much power they have, get this. They have political draw on both parties. Due to the older members of the family, like Jim Walton, being stark Republicans, after all, he gave $630,000 to Republicans or Republican affiliates in the 2008 election. And on the flip side, the younger Gen X and millennial members of the Walton family, like Christy Walton, seem to have power in the opposite direction of her elders, due to Christy forming the Lincoln Project, an anti-Trump Republican group. Let's close out our list of families today with one of the most famous fams out there. We are talking, of course, about the Kardashians, who have risen to one of the most powerful, famous, and wealthy families on the globe. Kim Kardashian is credited for taking her TV reality series and turning it into a global empire. She is now the star of multiple mobile games owns her own brand of cosmetics, and most recently has launched her own shapewear business. And it's these beauty products that have catapulted her wealth up and up and up. Her cosmetics company, KKW Beauty, a company worth $1 billion, generated $100 million in revenue in 2019. It seems this family can't be stopped. Kim married superstar Kanye West, worth $1.3 billion himself. And don't forget that her younger half-sister Kylie is worth $1 billion. And her sister, Chloe, she's worth an estimated $40 million. And, and, look, you see where we're going with this. They're wealthy and live like it. Kim's monthly beauty expenses come to an average of $168,880. And she and her hubby Kanye recently purchased a $16 million ranch in Cody, Wyoming. Kanye even made sure to introduce himself to the mayor when they moved in. Well, there you have it. A look into the families that, by all accounts, are modern-day royalty. These families have the funds to make their ideals a reality, for better and for worse. Luckily, most of them are philanthropists and try to give back to the world that gave them so much in a meaningful way. And you know what? We commend them for that. That makes us glad that they are some of the richest.